Okay, section 10, all about area and perimeter. Um, first question, here is a square with side length S. Put a ring around the expression that describes the square's perimeter. So um, each of the sides is S. So it's S plus S plus S plus S, or in other words, 4 times S. Here is a rectangle with side length A and B. What is the area? So if it's A and B on the sides, then the area is A times B, AB. AB, or a little dot in between to say A times B. And then the rectangle's perimeter, okay, so it's A plus B plus A plus B. So you could just write A plus B plus A plus B. Or another way of writing that is 2 times A plus 2 times B. Two A's here, two B's here. The common mistake that people make with these is to not realise that it's an algebra question. So you get people that actually measure the thing in centimetres and write down some number. And that is wrong. OK, May 2011 is the next question. So the rectangle has side lengths A there, and then A plus B, A plus B there. So if we filled in some more measurements, we'd have an A there, and another B there, and another A at the side. So the perimeter of the rectangle is, well, let's count it up. One, two, three, four A's. Four A. And then two B's. So four A plus two B. And then the area of the rectangle. Well, it's just the base times the height. So it's the A here times the A plus B here. So A times a plus B is an acceptable answer, or you might try and multiply that bracket out. So A times A makes A squared, and A times B makes AB. Um, so A squared plus AB is another acceptable answer, but don't ever write two answers because you can lose the mark if one of them is wrong and one of them is right. Moving on. Okay, so December 2011, the rectangle has side lengths A plus B, that's the top here, A plus B, and B plus 2, B plus 2. What is the perimeter of the rectangle? Well, again, let's fill in some measurements. If that's B there, then it's B on the other side. If that's 2 there, then it's 2 on the other side. If that's A there, then it's A down the bottom. And if that's B at the top, then it's B at the bottom. So, counting up around the edge, we've got 1, 2 A's, 2 A. We've got one, two, three, four B's, so plus four B. And then we've got two here and two here makes four. Two A plus four B plus four. Um, and then the area, well, it's just the base times the height. So it's the A plus B times the B plus two. A plus B bracket times B plus 2 bracket. You'll get the marks for that. If you wanted to expand that out, um, you'd have to work out everything in the first bracket times everything in the second bracket. So A times B is AB. A times 2 is 2A. B times B is B squared. And 
uh, b times 2 is 2b. So you could get the marks for something like ab plus 2a plus b squared plus 2b, but you don't need to do that much work to get the mark. You'll get the mark just for bracket times bracket. May 2012, uh, the perimeter of the yellow rectangle, so it's 2A, 2A here, 2A on the other side, B at the top, B at the bottom, so you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 A's, and then 1, 2, 2 B's there, so it's 4A plus 2B. And then the combined area of the yellow rectangle and the blue Triangle. Well, the area of the yellow rectangle is uh, base times height again, so the 2a times the b, which is 2ab, 2 times a times b. And then the area of a triangle is a half times the base times the height, so 0 0.5 times the 2b times the 2a. 0.5 times 2b times 2a, uh, well 0.5 times 2 is 1, and then times 2 again makes 2, so that's going to be uh, 2 times a times b, 2ab. So in fact the rectangle is 2 times a times b, and the triangle is 2 times a times b, and together they make 4ab's. So you could get the mark for something that you haven't simplified down to 4AB, as long as it's correct. Right, December 2012. The blue rectangle has side length x and 2x. The uh, perimeter of the blue rectangle is what? Okay, so it's x here, it's x on the other side, it's 2x at the bottom, so it's 2x at the top, and altogether that makes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 x is 6x. Six then the area is just the base times the height. So 2x times x makes 2x times x, x squared. 2x squared. Next one. May 2013. Um, rectangle, a plus 3 along the top, a plus 2 along the side. Put across in the two expressions that describe the area of the blue figure. Well, the area is the base times the height, so it's the a plus 3 times the a plus 2. Um, so that's immediately one of our answers but it's looking for two expressions, so we need to multiply that out. a times a is a squared. a times 2 is 2a. 3 times a is 3a, and 3 times 2 is 6. So when you're multiplying two brackets together, you multiply everything in the first bracket by everything in the second bracket. a squared plus 2a plus 3a plus 6. Now that 2a plus 3a can go together to make 5a's. So a squared plus 5a 
plus 6, and that is indeed one of our answers. It says, here is a sketch of a cube with a side length of 2 centimetres. So it's a cube, so it's the same length all the way around, 2, 2, 2. And the volume of the cube is 2 times 2 times 2 makes 8 centimetres. And then the cube's combined surface area is what? Well, each side is 2 times 2, which is 4. So it's 4 there. That side is 4 centimetres squared. The top is 2 times 2, 4 centimetres squared. And then you've got the back, the side, and the bottom. So 6 times 4 makes 24. Okay, May 2014. Um, all sides in this figure have a length of B. So B, 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 B. What is the perimeter of the shape? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 Bs. 12 times B, 12 B. What is the area of the shape? So if you think about this as being five squares, each square is b times b, b squared, b squared, b squared, b squared in the middle, b squared, b squared, five of them, so five times b squared, five b squared. Finally, December 2014, um, We've seen one like this already, haven't we? Um, the, the area of the green figure. So A times A makes A squared for the square. And then there's a triangle. Um, well, the area of the triangle is going to be a half times the base times the height. So 0.5 times 2 times A, A here. So the overall area is a squared plus uh, 0.5 times 2 times a, which is the same as a squared plus 0.5 times 2 is 1. So 1 times a is a. The area of the green figure is a squared plus a.